Hello, in this session we will see a problem on radius of curvature for a Cartesian curve. So let us say that this is the question where we have to find the radius of curvature for the equation which is x cube plus y cube equal to 3xy at the point 3a by 2 comma 3a by t. Now, we know that the radius of curvature rho is actually given by the expression 1 plus y1 square whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by y2. So this means that we'll have to find y1 and y2 and of course then the values of these at the point 3a by 2 comma 3a by 2. So let us start with the equation of the curve that is x cube plus y cube equal to 3axy. Now differentiating this with respect to x on both the sides we will have 3x square plus 3y square dy by dx equal to 3ay when differentiating x plus 3ax times of dy by dx. So here you can say taking dy by dx term on the same side we will have 3y square minus 3ax times of dy by dx equal to 3ay minus 3x square. From here you can say like we can see 3 is a common factor on both the sides so dy by dx will become ay minus x square divided by y square minus ax. Let's say this is number 1. Now we'll find this for 3a by 2 and 3a by 2. Before that let us try to find the second derivative that is y2 which is d2y by dx square. So for this we can differentiate what we got in the first part that is ay minus x square by y square minus ax differentiated in terms of x. So we will get y square minus ax whole square in the denominator differentiating ay minus x square in the numerator we are going to get a y1 instead of writing y dy by dx I am writing y1 minus 2x times of y square minus ax minus now differentiating the denominator so that is y square so we will write 2y y1 for the differentiation minus a times of a y square that is a y minus x square so this is y2 we don't have to make the rearrangements rather we can just put the value for 3a by 2 comma 3a by 2 so let's say that this is number 2 now at 3a by 2 comma 3a by 2 let us find y2 first okay let us find y1 first because we need to put it in y1 so y1 this is y1 ay minus x square by y square minus ax so let us do it here y1 will be a times of 3a by 2 minus 3a by 2 whole square divided by 3a by 2 whole square minus a times of 3a by 2 so we can see that what we get in the numerator and denominator are same the only difference is a negative sign. So can we directly say that y1 is actually going to be negative 1? We can see this. a times of 3a by 2 is here and 3a by 2 whole square is here. So only difference is negative sign. So y1 will be negative 1. That makes it easy. Now y2 will now be considering a y1 as minus of a now. So minus a minus 2 times of 3a by 2, 3a by 2 
स्क्वायर माइनस ए टाइम्स ऑफ थ्री ए बाई टू माइनस टू टाइम्स ऑफ थ्री ए बाई टू टाइम्स ऑफ माइनस वन माइनस ए ए टाइम्स ऑफ थ्री ए बाई टू माइनस थ्री ए बाई टू स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री ए बाई टू स्क्वायर माइनस ए टाइम्स ऑफ थ्री ए बाई टू होल स्क्वायर सो वी आर गेटिंग दिस थ्री ए बाई टू होल स्क्वायर माइनस ए टाइम्स ऑफ थ्री ए बाई टू इन द न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर ऑल्सो बट विद अ माइनस साइन हेयर सो वी कैन टेक दिस कॉमन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नो नीड टू सॉल्व फॉर दिस जस्ट टेक दिस कॉमन वाई टू एज थ्री ए बाई टू स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री ए स्क्वायर बाई टू इन साइड वी विल हैव माइनस ए माइनस थ्री ए एंड सिंस वी आर टेकिंग नेगेटिव ऑफ दिस कॉमन सो दिस विल बी माइनस एंड माइनस प्लस सो दिस विल बी प्लस ऑफ माइनस थ्री ए एंड माइनस ए होल डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री ए बाई टू होल स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री ए स्क्वायर बाई टू स्क्वायर सो वन ऑफ दी ऑर्डर कैन बी रिमूव्ड एंड वी विल हैव वाई टू इक्वल टू माइनस ए माइनस थ्री ए माइनस थ्री ए माइनस ए सो ओवरऑल दैट इज माइनस एट ए माइनस एट ए डिवाइडेड बाय सो दिस इज नाइन ए स्क्वायर बाय फोर माइनस थ्री ए स्क्वायर बाय टू सो टेकिंग फोर एज अ कॉमन बेस फॉर द डिनोमिनेटर माइनस एट ए बाय नाइन ए स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स ए स्क्वायर सो दिस विल बी माइनस थर्टी टू ए and 9a square minus 6a square will be 3a square a is a common factor so this will be minus 32 by 3a so we have found y1 and y2 both so with y1 equal to minus 1 y2 equal to negative 32 by 3a rho which is 1 plus y1 square to the power of 3 by 2 by y2 will now become 1 plus minus 1 square to the power of 3 by 2 divided by minus 32 by 3a so minus 1 whole square will be 1 so that is 2 2 to the power of 3 by 2 by minus 32 by 3a this is actually 2 cube by so that would be root 8 or 2 root 2 times of 3a by minus 32 so we can say rho will be negative of 3a by 4 root 8 which can be written as negative 3a root 8 is 4 times of root 2 so 8 root 2 now since rho needs to be positive so the absolute value of rho will be 3a by 8 root 2 so this is the result which we are looking for in this case so you can say that this is the radius of curvature for the given curve x cube plus y cube equal to 3xy at the point 3a by 2 comma 3a by 2 thank you